Hey everybody, it's InnoVision, and Lenovo just released their first GPU driver update of the new year for the Legion Go. Now I'm sitting here with my favorite handheld gaming PC with the official dock and official charging controller connector. I'm about to play a couple games to spot check things and make a few performance comparisons with the previous and newly released GPU drivers. At the moment, the drivers still haven't shown up in the Legion Space app. So I downloaded the driver directly from Lenovo's support page. And sometimes it can take a day or two before the drivers show up in the Legion Space app. Let's get started. So I'm here with the AMD Radeon software app pulled up. And what I've got going on here is I'm using the app with the in-game performance overlay enabled. So I can see when things like AMD Radeon super resolutions enabled or the AMD fluid motion frames are enabled things of that nature. And so I'm gonna start with Elden Ring. In this game, I use integer scaling because the game's pretty demanding and it honestly seems to bog the system down when I use the Radeon Super Resolution. All right, we're getting ready to launch Elden Ring, but before we launch it, let's take a look at the preferences here. So we wanna enable the in-game overlay because it's gonna let us see when things like Radeon Super Resolution or AFMF frame generation is enabled. And so going back to our game, so going back to our game, the settings I find work best for Elden Ring is to use full panel scaling with integer scaling. This will disable the Radeon super resolution over here, and that's okay. We want AFMF frames enabled. The thing that's important about integer scaling, it's a great way to get improved performance on Legion Go for games that are seem to bog the system down or run kind of slow. This is kind of the settings I like to use for a majority of games if I just want the best performance. And so what's happening here is the image or the frame will get rendered at one fourth the whole screen resolution. It gets upsampled to four times the resolution of the output as it gets rendered to the screen. And so this is typically achieved by something similar to like nearest neighbor interpolation, which is a technique where you duplicate pixels in the right spots to make the picture twice as big or four times bigger. And so that's a really good algorithm for real time like upsampling and it's easy to hardware accelerate that algorithm. So I, I would imagine they're doing something similar to that. There we go. So we've got the in-game overlay. Fluid motion frames are not enabled. Anti-lag is. All right, so it's important to take note, we've got two frame counters here. The one that's included with the Legion Space app over here. And then we've got the one over here that's from Steam. So the Steam frame counter is the real one. It's giving us what the real frames that are coming out of the GPU. The one on the left or the Legion Space app one, when AFMF frames are enabled, that one should go up. And so this area of the game is typically pretty hard to run. I'm using the 15 watt TDP settings and I never really see more than like low 40s here. So that's kind of expected. Um, we're on the old driver. So we're gonna go inside. Once you go in a more like uh, enclosed environment, there's less stuff to render at a distance. The frames do pick up a little bit. Look at that, fluid motion frames two is enabled. Very nice. So we're back in the same place. So here, you know, we typically getting around 40 frames per second before the driver update. I've seen it dip, you know, in the high 30s on occasion, but it looks like the game is actually running a little bit smoother. Now this game is notorious for having like micro stutters and uh, glitches when enemies load and when you enter new areas. So be curious what happens when we get into a battle here real quick. Dark nights when the shadows start creeping. Streets whisper ain't no safe sleeping. Eyes watch from the corners they scheming. Gotta move quick, can't let them start feeding. Heart pounds every step I'm misleading Make calls from the alley can't be seen Hide in the black can't let them intervene Grip tight every moan's echo up past deeds Grit teeth ain't no time for the weak Alright so now we're about to take a look at Fantasy Star Online And so I have my settings back at the 
2560 by 1600, 144 frames per second, and we've got Radeon Super Resolution enabled again. So this is a game that's a little bit older. Um, it's still pretty demanding, but I can run it with the settings turned pretty decently. All right, now we're going to take a look at Fantasy Star Online 2. So I like to use the HyperRX experience. We enable motion frames. That looks good. So we're going to launch the game. And so we're running about 75 frames per second on the Steam side. And we're running similarly on the left side. So what we see here is we're, we're pulling a raw, you know, 70 to 80 frames per second without any frame gen happening because if the frame gen was happening we'd see it on the left side in the Legion Space app. So now that there's more foliage and stuff like that we're getting about uh, you know high 60s in terms of frame rates. Let's go with the Hyper RX settings. All right. And you can see actually on the left hand side, we're getting well over 100 frames per second with um, AFMF enabled. Let's run into the forest. Wow, this looks smooth. Whoa, this is incredible. Wow. This looks really good. It's running so smooth. There we go. Let's get a rag wrappy. That was incredible. The AFMF2 capability gave a huge performance increase for both of the games we tested here today. I'm curious what games you guys are going to try. Let me know. Hit me up in the comments section. Let us know the games that you tried. Let us know the experience you had. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button. These help the channel out and it helps with our engagement metrics so that we know what content was helpful for the people that are watching the gaming videos. Until next time, everybody stay happy, stay healthy, stay well, and we'll see you soon.